What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my extra cold kitchen. If you've been paying attention to the news, man, I live in Texas. It is colder in Texas now than it has been in 30 years and we weren't ready. We talk a big game down here, but when that cold hits, we're softer than a vegan in the meat aisle at a Whole Foods. But alas, the show must go on. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to make an easy batch of anabolic cookies that are soft, loaded with flavor, and most importantly, ain't gonna set your back on your diet, baby. In today's video, we'll be making anabolic cream cheese cookies. This is a stupid, simple, high protein, low calorie cookie recipe that is not only gonna satisfy that sweet tooth, but after eating a few, it might even help de-thaw that cold spot in your chest where your heart used to be. If you've been looking to have some delicious cookies, but you don't wanna look like you've been having delicious cookies, then look no further than this video, cause I'm telling you, it just might change your life. And you already know, if you got that RJF Anabolic Cookbook, baby, it has been updated, so go grab your updated copy. This recipe is now in there along with every other one of my stupid, simple, delicious anabolic recipes recipe. We're flipping the script on dieting, man. It's not about eating quinoa bowls and going to bed starving. It's about eating the foods you love, not feeling like you're dieting and reaping all the benefits. So far, the only downside I found to this diet is that uh, I'm so lean, I don't have the extra body fat right now to stay warm in this type of weather. So take that into consideration before you check out that link in my description. You get it once, you get every future recipe I have for free. So if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! Let's get this show on the road. First thing we need, food scale and a large mixing bowl. And we're gonna start off with 224 grams or one block of fat-free cream cheese. And a little warning, if you've been using your mixing bowl, filling it with water and soap to wash because your pipes are frozen, make sure you give it a little rinse out first. Toss it right in. And keep in mind with the cream cheese, this works best if you let it sit out and get the room temperature for like an hour or so before doing this, it's gonna mix way easier. Now on top of our cream cheese, we wanna add one large egg. Give it a little crack and breaker right down in. Now we're gonna add 31 grams of a vanilla-based whey protein powder. I'm using that Final Boss Cinnamon Toast Swirl. Keep in mind, the better your protein tastes, the better any of these recipes are gonna turn out. They require you to use protein. That's why I can't recommend Final Boss Whey enough. When the going gets tough, the weak buy Walmart, but the real ones know the way. Now we're just gonna toss in 62 grams of white flour. Now we're just gonna add 10 grams of a zero-calorie sweetener. I prefer sucralose myself. We'll make these sweet without adding all that sugar. The only sugar I want from my mama. Then we're just gonna add in five grams of vanilla extract and about three grams of baking powder. And once it's all in here, all we gotta do is go in and mix it all up. You might see we got the big block of cream cheese in here. That's the most important part. If you let it get to room temperature, it's gonna really easily press down and combine with everything else. If it's not room temperature, this will be way harder. So just use your spoon, go in here, work everything together, the eggs with the flour, the sweetener. Mix it for about three to four minutes until it's all the same consistency and smooth throughout, and you'll be in business. And now that we got a smooth batter, all we're gonna do, get a baking sheet, lay down a piece of parchment paper, hit it with nonstick, and then all I wanna do is take my spoon and create even-sized little balls here. Don't worry about them being in any type of shape right now. We will shape them in a minute. We just wanna get them laid out here so we can start working with them. So we actually ended up with 12 cookies right here, which is fine by me. The more the merrier, but we do need to shape them up into balls. The best way to do this, because this dough is sticky, is get you a bowl of water. And then what you do, dip your hands in the water, pick up your ball. It's gonna be way less sticky. See how none's getting on my hands? Then we're just gonna take this, move it around a little bit, shape it into a ball, like so. Sit it right back down here on our baking sheet, dip, get a little more water, and then rinse, repeat all of our dough balls until so they're all perfect circles. Well, not perfect circles, I ain't God, but we're gonna do what we can. And once we got our cookies shaped and looking pretty, they're ready to go in the oven. We're gonna toss them in at 375 degrees for around eight to 10 minutes. They don't really need that long. At eight minutes, they'll be a little softer. At 10 minutes, they'll be a tiny bit more firm, delicious, however you slice it. Whoop, whoop. Whoop. And ladies and gentlemen, when I return, it's anabolic cookie time. Let's go. And boom, we 
we just pulled our cookies out of the oven. They are smelling great. The final little thing we gotta do is take some Swerve zero calorie powdered sugar and sprinkle it on top. So I'm just gonna take it and add a nice little layer onto the top of each of our cookies. Now I'm telling you, they're great without this, but this little step right here just adds a little sharpness, a little sweet bite onto every single one. And if you do it, I really don't think you'll regret it. And boom, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you anabolic cream cheese cookies. All that sweet, delicious flavor of a cookie that should be bad for you, but we've shifted the odds in our favor, crushed that sweet tooth, and been able to include our favorite foods into our diet without having to feel any guilt. We can wake up the next morning leaner, better, and even more anabolic. If you made it this far into the video, smash that thumbs up button for me, comment anything down below for the algorithm, and ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag, and try these things together. You guys ready? Let's go. It is cookie time. But first, if you want to check out the whey protein that I use in all these recipes, man, finalbossformance.com. Could RJF10 saves you 10%. You want a good protein you can cook with? I mean, I never really drink shakes. It's good if you drink a shake, but if you want it to be able to incorporate it into your recipes, get more protein, live more anabolic. I mean, I, I don't think you can go wrong, bud. And anabars, these are not available yet. The amount of people messaging me asking when these are available, uh, not yet. But we're looking at an early to mid March release date. So stay tuned to these videos. Follow me on social media if you want to know when. When these are available, best dang protein bar you've ever had. I got a video coming up where I compare like a ton of different protein bars and stack them against ours. Might be a little biased, but I think you'll love the video. So be on the lookout. All right, let's get in here, man. Which cookie looks the best to me? I think that one is looking pretty solid. Let's get down to business. Three, two, one, back out. Sweet, it's soft, it's got a hint of that cream cheese flavor. A little bit of vanilla, has the texture of a cookie we did throw in the flour. I mean, overall, man, for a quick protein cookie to put together, I don't think you can go wrong with these. The best part is we don't just gotta eat one. The macros are so good. We can have, I'm probably gonna have six. I made 12, six sounds like the right number. And if you look right down the middle, you can see it's the perfect mixture of soft, so it's not super creamy in the middle, which you can cook it a little less if you want that creaminess. It's gonna be good either way, but if you want that cookie consistency, right around eight, nine minutes, is is the sweet spot. Ooh. Mm. Now in this entire recipe, for all 12 cookies, if you make it exactly how I did it, what you end up with for the whole thing is only six grams of fat, 60 grams of protein, 81 grams of carbs, two grams of fiber. 618 calories, 60 grams of protein. So I'll be half of this right now, it's about 307 calories, 30 grams of protein. I get to enjoy some cookies. Keeping those calories low, don't gotta throw off my diet, man. Keeping things anabolic. To be honest, you guys might be seeing this video like after Texas gets a little better with the current problems, but man, not having water at all, having your pipes freeze. Not only was I like not able to do dishes, couldn't refill my water jug, didn't even have water to like brush my teeth, terrible. I was actually able to get a hold of my realtor. She gave me 40 bottles of water. I had to use that bottle of water to wash my dishes. I put water in a large mixing bowl, took a sponge, and that is how I showered. I shaved out of a mixing bowl. Now, no, I'm, I'm not here. I don't want no one to feel sorry for me. I mean, it is what it is. It's the most first world of problems, but still, I always try to say, keep in mind how good we got it. It's easy to look around and play the victim, right? The victim card. Act like things are so bad. Like this is the worst country in the world, man. But literally we have it so well here when so much of the rest of the world doesn't have the same luxuries we have to the point where it is a crucial problem when we don't have running water. Whereas other people would um, love to be able to actually take showers, to be able to get a drink when they're thirsty, have water on a toothbrush. You know what I mean? Put a lot in perspective for me. So I don't know why I'm sharing that with you guys, but it's just a thought I had. And I think um, we could all be a little more appreciative of what we got guy, especially these cookies. Mm. We are down to the final bite. Let's go. Mm. As far as low calorie, high protein cookies are concerned, these are a, a 10 out of 10 in my book. They're sweet, they're soft, they're gonna satisfy that craving, they're gonna fill you up. It's not loaded with real sugar, it's gonna make you crave where you gotta jump from cookie to cookie. Next thing you know, whole bag of chips ahoy is gone. It's not like that, man. We're making better choices here, right? We're not eliminating foods completely from our diet. We're just shifting the odds in our favor. You get what I'm saying? And if you want the ultimate favor odd shifter, 
I don't know if that makes sense. Check out my cookbook, available in my description. All of my recipes, the cookies, the ice creams, the pizzas, the nachos, the waffles, the pink, I mean, everything you need to make the better choices, right? Dieting does not have to be this miserable slog where people are trying to sell you on fad diets, buying all these special keto products, going vegan, going paleo, going whole foods. I mean, I mean, if that works for you, great. But if you're a foodie like me and you wanna find ways to hack the system and eat the foods you love, but making the healthiest versions of them, high in protein, more thermogenic, then you better give this a shot, man. You get one time link in my description you get every future recipe i have for free appreciate you guys as always for watching the channel i'm gonna put these in tupperware set them on my counter they'll be good for about three days or so while they're sitting there but uh i know i'm gonna eat them today i'm eating them today Ain't no qualms about it smash thumbs up for me means a ton uh every thumbs up heats up my house just that much little bit subscribe if you're not subscribed tons of great videos coming comment anything down below for the algorithm put an emoji put a, a pear down there a pickle a loaf of bread i don't care put something down there because it helps so anyways guys I appreciate all y'all. Anybody that's stuck in these Texas storms, I feel for you, man. I feel for you. But we're gonna warm, we'll be in the 70s next week. So, I mean, I don't even know what witchcraft this is, but things will be back to normal pretty soon. Thank you, as always, for watching. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. All right, no more cookies, but we can get a little bit of that powdered sugar. Mm -hmm.